This isn't a discussion. You're not going without me. Period. Look, I need you here protecting Sanctuary. If this turns out to be a trap, I need you to keep these people safe. Is this because Angel told me not to come? It is, isn't it? Lilith, damn it, would you just trust me, okay? If you get killed, I'm gonna be really pissed. Noted. If you live, I'm tearing those clothes right off your body. Yeah, also, hey, we're slap. standing right also here. Noted. Nobody wants to hear that. Go on. Time to think up some memorable last words. This is it, everybody. Lilith, Mordecai, you're protecting the city. Brick will provide air support from Thousand Cuts, and I'll climb up to Control Core Angel from the cliff face. Any questions? Yeah, why ain't I going? I gotta pay Hyperion back for Bloodwing. And you will, but for now, I need you protecting Sanctuary in case this is just another trap. You'll get your payback, Mordecai. I promise. Long as you say so, Roland. Vault Hunter, we have a shot at stealing the Vault Key and stopping Jack from waking the warrior. All you have to do is get past a force field that'll atomize you, destroy a bunker carrying enough firepower to level a continent, and get through a door you can't possibly open. That's his way of saying we're probably gonna die. Huh. It's time to get Claptrap to Thousand Cuts. We need him to shut down the force field. Huh. Make it painful, guys. This is gonna be fun! <laughs> I knew I hadn't heard the last of that gun. I bought it off a guy a few months ago. Great gun, but it's cursed. I sold it to a bandit named Horus. I should discuss the scroll offense in the room. The reason for my relocation was an elongated and systematically unpleasant torture at the hands of Jack's cronies. Roland and his well-defined pectoral muscles were kind enough to entrust the vault key with me after the awakening of the destroyer. Not to be confused with the warrior. Seriously, those sound nothing alike. Oh, right. Torture. I asked nicely on several occasions to take proper precautions against bacteria on the instruments, but it fell upon idiotic ears. As they cut into my flesh over and over, I would fade in and out of consciousness and whisper to the ceiling chairs that it was going to be okay. Clork was afraid at first. His four legs trembled against the cold ceiling. But he knew he had to be strong for me. Then they went to work on his brother, Philippe. Philippe. I, I just... Philippe Who's was there? so brave. He was brain. so brave for me when the rotary saws began to ply his legs from his body. Clark cried out for his brother, even when one of the torturers inadvertently sat on him and muffled his cries. The last thing Philippe said before he passed on to the great wooden beyond was, I love you, Patty. I love you. And then he was gone. It's lonely here in Sanctuary. Sure, Clark prattles around on the ceiling, but it's hardly the same. Jack has taken so much from me. Jack has taken the only happiness I've ever had in his asinine quest for the warrior and more power. Revenge is as pointless as music, but on this occasion, I will allow myself the revenge. I will allow myself to aid in his downfall. Mark my words, Jack. You're going to die. J'approuve. The chronicles of my torture. I shall warm up some cold cocoa and listen to these again. McNally took the bane. It worked like a charm against the spider ants, but the curse. <coughs> if you're hearing this, fine McNally. He may have left me for dead, but he doesn't deserve what the bane will do to him. Nobody does. Tout est à peu près dangereux. Bienvenue à Borderlands. <rire> C'est le pays où t'as des pauvres partout, la pauvreté règne, mais tout le monde a des armes. <rire> Encore. <rire> bon, ça va, tu fais un tapis ou. <rire> Ah, 
gotta get rid of it. Gar's coming from Lynchwood to buy it. There are very valuable armaments over no here. Idea. Stay away unless you want to get blasted. I don't the stories about the curse. Boy, oh boy, is he in for a surprise? C'est moi, bon, on a eu deux, deux dialogues en un. Là. Ouais, c'est parce qu'on a une caravane à aller braquer. Hein. Oui. Allons braquer la caravane. C'est pas lui. Ouh, qu'est-ce qui s'est passé D'accord, c'était pas... J'ai pas trop surveillé le... La vie. What? Ah, d'accord. Je peux pas aller essayer de leur piquer la bagnole, non? Bah, tu fais comme tu veux, moi j'ai fait rouler dessus. J'ai mort instantanément, j'ai pas compris. <rire> je vais buter la bagnole, je vais détruire la bagnole. Ouais <rire> Ah, mes talents de pilote. Ça va, tu t'en sors bien aujourd'hui Ouais, peut-être parce que c'est le live, c'est pour ça. <rire> ouais, en fait, non. <rire> <rire> Les bras cassés. <rire> ah, là, là.